Sometimes light and nature works with you and you get stunning results right out of the camera. Other times, however, the image might need a little extra help in the post-processing phase. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Luminar Neo to enhance lighting effects that are already there using the sun rays tool and bokeh overlays. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor and if you want to learn all about photo editing, you're in the right place. So come with me and let's get started. Well, the reason I like this one is because there's some bokeh down the bottom here. So I thought we could play with that as well as these streaks up here with like a sun rays filter as well. All right. So what I want to do with this one, let's just see what any of these presets kind of do. Um, now we have preset previews, of course. Okay. So we can just click a collection and then it will show us if we hover over. Ooh, that's kind of neat. So is that, because I'm looking for, you know, is it, giving me the color that I want. I can always adjust things like brightness, right? That's kind of nice. It's it's increasing the contrast and the punch a great deal. So that's kind of nice. I might warm it up a little bit, right? And that one's warmer. So I think I'm going to go with this one and then just warm it up a little bit. And right? we can also now dial down the effect of the preset. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring it down to about there and then we'll just go to edit. Okay. I am going to crop this one a little bit because I don't like this edge up at the top here. So let's see what Luminar thinks is composition AI in terms of cropping. Okay. So it's come in a little bit. Now, do I want to get rid of this one at the bottom is a question. That is a good question. I definitely want to get rid of that stuff at the top. And I think I want to keep this part on the side. So I'm going to go free crop form and keep this bit over here at the side. I like this little, this little guy here. Or we could do what Luminar suggested and just leave this one here or end up cloning it out. Okay? So now we just have that. The other thing that I might do with composition is because the branch is almost... I forgot that I'm not on the screen. <laughs> The other thing that I might do is because the branch is so straight across, I might tilt it a little bit. Okay. So when we are cropping, we can do a tilt. Okay. So if I go, if I go this way, so I'm looking to make the branch a little more diagonal. Okay. So that kind of helps. And that gets rid of this problem at the bottom as well. Okay. I wish I could keep more space here. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to go, free. I'm going to come in so it's narrower. Then I'm going to tilt and keep the full width of the of the branches. I might come in a little bit more. So now I've solved both problems. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of this bright spot over here, and I've tilted it so it's a little bit more diagonal. So now we have sort of this leading line with this bud here showing up on this lower third. So I will tilt in cropping a fair bit, okay? There we go, okay? So that solved a lot of things already. Now let's go look at the edits that's, that's been done here. Okay, so it looks like it's added smart contrast. Um, I like to do curves, so it's darkened the curve, but I wanna make sure that I've got some black, okay? So I'm gonna tuck in on this edge of the graph a little bit, oops. There we go. Okay. And if you want to make sure you're not getting any clipping, J on the keyboard. Okay. So it's this dance. I don't mind if the highlights are clipping, actually. Okay. So there's this dance. We don't have any black, which is okay. We'll keep it softer. Okay. But I am going to adjust the color here. Okay. Warm it up a little bit, something like that. Okay, let's see what else it's done. Okay, so it's applying some positive structure, and I don't want that on the background. So I'm going to mask it, and I'm just going to use a radial gradient so that it's only giving structure 
to the actual flowers that I want it to go on. Like so. Okay, remember I said where it's red is where it's applying, so it's not applying on the flowers or on the leaves yet. I need to invert it. Okay, so I want the structure here, not on the background. Okay. And while I'm here, I'm going to copy this mask just in case I'm going to use it somewhere else. Okay, now we've got enhance. Okay, so it's lightening the background, and I'm not, so it's thinks there's sky in here. I'm not crazy about that either. So I'm going to paste this mask in. So I want to keep the background a little bit uh, softer. Okay. Now we've got a little bit of details. I could punch up some medium details, which works nicely on the plant. Again, we can mask it in. So see how copying pasting that mask is really handy. I'm going to add a vignette. So take it darker, feather zero. And because we cropped it, this is something I talked about with Dima as well, post crop vignette, we want it, right? Because we cropped, we have to bring the size in. And then I'm just gonna adjust the subject like so. Like that. Okay, so now we've kind of done the basic edits, right? So our beginning, and where we're at now, now we can start to do some creative stuff. So if I want to add some more bokeh, we can add a bokeh overlay. Or if we want to add some sun rays, we can do that. Before I do that, I got to put my favorites back. Uh, <laughs> I was making a, a screenshot for somebody else. And I needed all of everything back where it belonged. So I've, I've taken my favorites out. So I've got to put my favorites back in. So my favorites are mystical glow mood mystical glow and color harmony those are my favorites so i always make sure that they are up there so if you're not sure how to do that you just have to right click on any one of the tools and then just add to your favorites and then if you don't want it anymore just right click it and remove it from your favorites okay okay so sun rays all right so to start we need to add the amount and we definitely want them to be warmer like so and probably not so many, not so many, right? And then I need to place the center, right? So the center, I want it coming from maybe even off the image, okay? So you could bring it up higher. So it kind of matches like the streaks that are already there, okay? And I want the light hitting these leaves, okay? So now I'm just going to use uh, the randomizer, which is my favorite thing, and just sort of see what happens, right? So I'm just kind of, you can click along the, along the bar. Now that's kind of interesting. I like that idea, right? And we can even enhance it by changing the overall look, right? I kind of want the center of the thing even higher. So I'm going to make my image smaller and place this up as high as possible. Maybe over here. I really, there we go. Okay. Now, let's see what we do with randomizer. I want it to sort of hit the, the leaves. Oh, that looks good. I kind of like that one. Right? So we got the amount to play with. Look what's happening there, okay? Still think I need fewer rays. So play with the amount, random, position. I kind of wish I could rotate them as well. Hmm, another feature request. Maybe a little bit like that. Okay, I'm not gonna play with this forever. Oh, that looks good. Um, I'm not gonna play with this forever. I just want it kind of soft like that. Now, the other thing I can do is fade it out at the top. So if I do a mask on this one and a gradient, okay. so remember, 
red shows, I'm just going to fade it out ever so slightly at the top. Okay, so see, I got rid of that sort of harsh bit at the top. Okay. Now I can decide if I want more, have them more intense, and so on. Okay, so this is a great tool. I love this tool. I really do. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. I love this tool. Doesn't it look like the sun is really glowing on them? Well, it is. <laughs> okay. Let's make it darker. Love it. Love it. Okay. And now let's do a bokeh. Okay. So she's already got some nice bokeh in the background. Okay. If you have my, if you've purchased already my bokeh pack, it is available on the Skyland Marketplace as well. Okay, so I have a bunch of bokas in here somewhere, and I think one of these yellow ones is going to work well. Probably this one. I've got a green one and a yellow one. So I'm going to add the yellow one because we've got sort of this yellow going on here. Okay, so now I've got this bokeh added, okay, and I'm just going to stretch it to fit. And then I kind of want more on the bottom down here, right? And I'm not even sure that this is the right one, to be honest. Okay, so then you want to change the blend mode. Um, ooh, overlay is kind of cool. Overlay is kind of cool. Uh, let's try soft light. Also kind of cool. So I'm not convinced this is the right one yet. So let me try the green one. Let's try the green ones first. Right now it's the wrong green, but we can fix that. Right now I got to stretch it. I can also just do fill. Uh, don't mind it stretched. Let's change the blend mode. Now that's kind of cool. Do we like where the bokehs are? I kind of want to fill this like empty space down here a little bit. Kind of like that. Okay. So I'm going to leave it like this at high opacity because I want to mask it a little bit. And I'm going to have it fade out at the top. Okay. So again, where the red is, is it's going to show fading out to none at the top, right? See that? So I don't have any bokehs here. I might just erase this one as well, okay? Kind of like this one over here. All right, now the color of it is not right. So I'm going to go into the color tool. There we are. And I'm going to shift the green more yellow to match see that so we can literally shift the color or you can use this tool at the bottom here to literally shift the entire image any color you want right so if I go this way we're getting more yellow and green right off the bat okay like so okay. the other option is I could even apply a lot to it. So there's lots of ways to shift the color into something that's more matching this image. Okay. Now I'm happier with that. I'm going to come back up to layer properties and just soften it. I'm going to redo this mask because I'm not totally happy with it. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to brush it out where I don't want it. That's easier. Okay, so I don't want this one up in this corner so much. Yeah, like so. Something like that. Okay, so now we have our before. And after. We could also add a texture here if we like it. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this layer we don't want. Okay. Would a reverse structure work for softening the bokeh? 
Absolutely. Let's give that a go. Good suggestion. Okay, let's do that. There we go. So it just softens the edge. Yep. Good idea. Right. We could even use a glow. Right. So if we want to soften them a little bit more. Right. I could come back to this color tool and just lower the saturation a bit as well. There. How's that? Oh, this one at the bottom here is a little bright. So I'll just sort of mask it out. I want to darken this top again. I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to darken the exposure. I'm darkening this top of the image. So I'm just going to use a linear gradient. See that? So I use develop. Just to darken that top a little bit. Okay, now we can go back and do, do the dance, right? If I want more sun rays, okay. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. If you enjoyed this tutorial, but you don't have any overlays of your own to use for this technique, check out my Ultimate Bokeh collection in my store. There's a link for you in the pinned comment right below the video. To watch more photo editing tutorials, click here now. Until next time, take care.